before I start today, um, I'd like to thank um, someone called Tony Blackpool for um, giving me access to um, a Linux laptop um, so I could do this because obviously Windows can't read all the partitions. So I've, I was looking around the house and, and thinking what was expensive and what can I make cheaper. So I had a look at um, the Apple TV which is a media center. So for Christmas I got a Pi Zero which um, is a small four pound computer which you can get off the front of the magazine. So I've um, created my a cheaper version of like a hundred pound media center. So it has the option to be live TV. Um, you can put all your favourite music on there. Um, you've got the weather. Um, airplay streaming. At the minute it's not mirroring, but um, I'm in the process of doing that. Um, retro gaming. And um, Synchrony and App Note. So you can actually probably show it use the normal TV remote for, um, to control it, so that's a way to save money. So, um, uh, NeoPixel lights, so um, we built this, me and my dad built this prototype, um, so it's going to have what's called a living hinge, which is a pattern on plastic that has like a little hole so the NeoPixel lights will shine through, but it won't like um, blind anyone because it will be diffused. So um, I did a bit of research what's already on the market. So there's Chromecast, there's um, Apple TV, which is the not the latest one, um, WDTV and Roku. So these are the ports at the minute. We're hopefully going to have a bit more USB ports. So at the minute, we've got one USB port, a HDMI out port, and micro USB power. Um, so the good thing is, is that you can plug it into the TV, so you're not like blocking what different plug socket. So how can I save money? Obviously the Raspberry Pi Zero, which is £4, and um, CEC, which um, uses your um, existing TV remote. And um, if we were to upgrade to three USB ports, um, we would use a £1 USB port. So this is the product design. So when I was designing my product, I wanted it to be something that was unique and was like nothing else on the market. So it's a it's the shape of a water drop and I've got um, a 3D model on my computer of um, what it would look like. So um, obviously when you're creating the product um, you've got to do different drafts and prototypes before the actual final one. So the first idea was to call it Apple, which the name I didn't really like, but um, oh, it was like 12 o'clock at night when I was really expensive. So um, on this one, you can see that the ports are all over the place, and I don't, I don't really want that. So I went back to the drawing board. So the ports are all on one side of this one, so the HDMI um, one USB and um, power is on one side. And the good thing is um, it's using open source software, so um, the good thing about open source is whatever, whatever you've done, other people can like um, tinker with it. Um, if you ever do something, I do advise you to make it open soon. So this is like um, a pocket money price thing. 
So this is the rich child, which I don't think anyone ever gets. But a week, so one to twenty pounds, hopefully it would be fifteen pounds. But obviously when you make a product, you don't always get to your price point the first time. So what do I have so far? So this is prototype number two. I've lost my prototype number one. It's probably somewhere in Blackpool. Um, it's got an easy to use interface, um, CEC compatibility, um, YouTube, and the features that you, I showed you on there. So the problems, so with it being open source, um, I found that all the file system was read only. So um, that took a while to change, to rewrite it. Some, some of the file system didn't change, but um, we managed to um, get around that. Um, I'd like to thank Les Powder uh, for all the help he's given me so far. And um, he's also um, helping me with the NeoPixel lights. So um, you can follow um, me on Twitter, which is all about food. If you're tweeting about this, it's hashtag PySpoon. And this is the website here. <coughs> I'll just show you that now. So this is, there'll be more stuff coming on here and you can um, see all the latest information. Um, if you want to ask um, questions, you can do it via Twitter or on the website if it works. Um, there's also a forum so you can um, just log in with your Google account and ask questions on there. And um, this is, if you want to come and look at the interface, and um, have a play around with it. The, um, I'm going to show you quickly. So the Pi Zero is four pounds, and how quick it ran the first time I used it was quite surprising because I thought it would be like an old machine that ran like at three minutes or three or something. But if you were just, so you will just put that on. So, so this is just the movie trailer that um, I watched at home, so it's easy to access. Might have lost the internet. Shall, shall we suggest that if people want to um, find out more that they... It's working. Yeah. So, okay. So... So it's, it's real time, it's really quick, the graphics on it. So, we just stop on So, um, if you want to come and see me and know more, um, I'll be happy to take your questions. Thank you.